first of one blank memory you create pre uh, next to extract the variable of the class extract the variable of the class next create a blank memory Pre extract the variable of the class again a default value to the variable again a default value to the variable I can handle to the memory. I can handle to the memory. For a uh, fourth thing, is it clear? Okay. Uh, first of all, I'll make this thing. Okay. Fire double. Sorry, here one minute. End of function. I will write. And I will write here hidden. What I am writing here hidden. Okay. Now just one minute. Function. Hello, example. And a function. Or anyone for a task. Hello. Hello, one. Okay. Hello and hello, one. What is a task? What is a function? That all are a different story. Okay. Okay. See, first two people are what? Property. Do you agree? Yes. Data property. Yes. What is this? Method. Method. One square dabba I have written, right? What is that? You have written Memory or automatically case. that will be get created, hidden. Created already. Correct. It means that you need to understand the moment when you write C L A S S class word. The moment when you write, automatically this okay, whatever the dabba I have put and I have written, I hidden no. Automatically that will come and will be there in your code by default. You will not write. You will not write. Automatically that will come in the back end. It means this four code will be written. Okay. I have not written the code how to create a memory and all that is a different story. You just think there are there is a code related to the creating a blank memory variable extraction, uh, variable assignment value assignment to the variable and assigning handle. Or oh, for all the things, okay, the moment when you write a C L A S H, this code will come uh, come into come and get appended. Okay, that will not be visible to you. Clear? Now mm -hmm. we will try to understand one by one. Okay. Now, imagine that this class I want to use. How will you use? First, you need to write. First, you need to first in any. First, you tell me before you use any variable, you will declare that variable or you will use that variable. Declare. Declare. How will you declare class variable? Handle. Use handle. Tell me, tell me the code. Class name uh, is ABC. ABC A on. ABC A one. That is what correct basic rule in any language is declare the variable. Correct. 
did we declare the variable yeah correct see the in the class we have a rule you cannot use the class unless you create a memory okay Cla they, they are like a vip people okay first you invite them you create a memory for them then only you can use them is this point is clear a b c of a1 means you declared the class variable class variable now hmm. you cannot use them example i want to use have word or hello okay this you cannot use unless first what you need to do object create yes, object new memory memory you need to create what memory now my question is how will you create a memory new new hmm. a1 equal to new a1 equal to new my simple question when you tell a1 equal to new what is this new meaning memory creation okay Let can i tell like this when the moment when you tell new it is nothing but you are calling this new which is hidden okay can i tell first simple thing is it a function calling leave all this you forget you forget this one the area you forget okay I'll, okay just i make it very very simple to you just function creation sir ha huh? <coughs> it is just function creation no we are not calling it we are just creating a memory let's say what do you call this one function this calling Uh, this is a function creation of a memory so simple a, a, okay okay leave, leave it okay now you only tell this one function add and function add what is this what is this this one is calling add it is the function and this function. is Function oh, definition. Function oh, okay. definition. We are calling function the calling. Function. Correct. Function calling. This line is called function, function calling. calling. Do you people agree? Yeah. What is new? Definition or calling? Function calling. Correct. When you are calling, definition need to be there or not? Mm. Yes. Without. Yeah. Yeah. Like, where is the where is the definition now? It's hidden. I, I have written hidden, right? Yeah. That is what it will go and for. Okay. The definition you have written, na? Uh? Mm hmm. You yeah. have written this definition, na? Uh? No, sir. No, sir. No, 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 no. It's already automatically created. No. Automatically will come. That is what I said, no? Definition. Function definition. So keep uh, try to understand when you tell new, okay, what actually it will do? This is calling you are doing, calling you are doing. But where is the definition? Definition is present inside a class. Okay, how it is present? Is it visible to you? No, it is invisible for you. Okay, is it you have written? No, you have not written. Automatically it is built in. It automatically come uh, come. Uh, it will be appended to your code. Is it clear? So. try to understand when you do new it is nothing but function calling you are doing now immediately function calling means you need to come and which is where is the definition definition is hidden for you clear mm -hmm. now simple one thing okay now new is there correct new is what function calling do you agree uh, yeah definition where it is present hidden it in it it can share a class do you agree first mm -hmm. yes okay if i want to access this function okay from outside the function how will you access need to call ah that how you, how will you write a code code you tell me okay oh. we we'll use this. handle to call it some handle tell me, so tell me the okay. line of i am looking for the code a1, a1 equal to new, equal to new. He actually, you will not, you will not do a one equal to new. If you remember a one dot hello, you used to example, you used oh, to yeah. correct. Correct. This is how you will access the any method. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, keep in mind, this is not an ordinary method. Okay. Yeah. yeah. New, mm -hmm. new is a special. Okay. That we call uh, we have given a uh, separate name to them. What is the name we have given? Constructor. 
Yes. What do you call this? This function, definitely. What is this function you call as? Actually, constructor. What do we call? Constructor. Okay. Sir, so this actually, is implicit or explicit? There is two types of constructor. Ah, correct, correct. That is yeah. hidden means what? You have written or implicit? Implicit then. Oh. Correct. You have not written. Correct. If you okay. write, then I will call as what? Explicit. explicit. Okay. 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 Very good. Mm -hmm. huh? Now, my question is new means function calling you need to do. Correct. Function calling actually via the handle you will do a1 dot new. Okay. You may this is the way to call any function. But actually keep in mind when comes uh, new, you will not use the dot operator. Which operator you need to use? Equal to. Equal. Mm. When we use equal, that is for constructor. Uh, Only for constructor dot, calling. Okay, okay. Only, Only for, for constructor, constructor calling. calling. Correct. Imp Only implicit for constructor. constructor. Right. Uh, yeah. Implicit constructor calling equal to. It can implicit or explicit, no matter. Constructor, simple. Oh. Okay. Explicit constructor also equal. Implicit constructor also equal only. Okay. 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 So, first of all, you need to understand that. First of all, whom you are calling. See, one thing, tell me. Okay. There is a marriage. Okay. Some CM or PM of the state will come and your relative will come. Okay. Will you treat, uh, will you behave similar to both of them or differently? Different. Different. Whom you will give more important? CM, PM. PM. Okay. Even if your close relative is there. Correct. Mm -hmm. huh? So it means if these people, I mean, example, new is there and they are the ordinary function. Okay, for ordinary function, you'll use what dot operator. Okay, or scope regulation operator you can use. But for a VIP, what you need to use? Equals. Equal. Clear? Yeah, but sir, uh, explicit constructor, uh, there will be no uh, new, right? I mean, sorry, we can call no, it no, a no, no, no. dot. See, right now, don't get confused. I'll come to explicit. Okay, okay. or else what happen? You will be messed up everything. Okay, okay. Explicit, uh, just one minute. Okay, mm -hmm. just for to answer your this one. Because what happened right now, you know that okay, there is a one way called a explicit, but other people may oh, not okay. be doing that. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. One minute. What you are asking is this one, third topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have dedicated topic. Right now we are at class. So once this, okay, immediately we'll jump to the constructor only. This keyword I'll explain later. I'll come here only. Explicit constructor only. Okay. Okay. So it's first clear. Okay. When you do new, it's nothing but calling. Whom you are calling? Constructor. That constructor. person is called like what? Constructor calling. If you okay. invite a customer, sorry, if you call the CM, how you need to call? Create new, yeah, equal to new. Hello, hello. Nitesh sir, you are not audible sir. You are not able, sir.
Now am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, sir. Again, not audible. Up, you are not audible. Now, now it's fine. Now it's okay. Now fine, right? Okay, actually, my got discharged. Okay, chal. let's move on. So, what they will call object creation? Object creation, other people will call, but you need to tell what? Constructor calling. Them. Constructor, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Constructor calling only, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. How right. will you call the constructor? They are VIP. Okay. Creating equal a operator. Memory. Equal yeah. operator. Ordinary people. How will you call them? Dot, dot operator. Dot or scope resolution. Scope resolution. Correct. Scope for static. Scope. Huh? Right. Scope resolution for static only, right? Only for static. Correct. That we will. Next show that also will come. Oh, yeah. Right now, only we will deal with dot operator. Okay? Right. So, equal operator, anyway, you got a, some idea. Now, in, sir, in the constructor, second step and third step, can you tell a little bit? Extract the variable from the class. See, they have called a one minute. Okay. What are the variables you have in the class? Two. A and B. This is the first step. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah. Create a blank memory. Extract the variable of the class. What are the variables? A e and B, correct? Mm -hmm. This is the second step. I extracted the variable of the class in that. Dabba. Okay. okay. What is the third step? I can a default value to the variable. What is the value uh, for A? What is the default value? Int. Int default value is what? Zero. In, int B. That is the default value is zero. That okay. is the third step. Okay. Next. Mm -hmm. As an handle to the memory. I can handle to the memory. What is the handle you need to give? A1. 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 This is the fourth step. Clear? Okay. And A1. Let's, mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. A1 equal to new. A1 equal to new. Clear? Yeah. Still here, anyone have a doubt? No. That you call a what? Object creation, other people will call. But you what you need to call? Constructor, Constructor call. creation. Constructor, Constructor cre calling. 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 calling, that is not a creation, calling. Okay. Okay. Constructor is a VIP person. How will you call? Equal operator. Or can I tell accessing the constructor also can I tell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? Right. Accessing the constructor. Okay, next one here in the down only. A one dot hello. What is the meaning of that? A one dot hello. Ordinary fun function calling. Huh? Hmm. Ordinary function calling. Or accessing the normal uh, method. Normal function calling. Normal function. Or A one dot hello one. 
task call queue will call like that only right yeah how can our task you will call like that only okay the can i tell accessing the method accessing actually what do we call this topic i accessing method the function or a task that is a method you can call correct mm -hmm. here the he also what accessing a function only but mm -hmm. access the not a normal function what yeah. is that accessing the constructor. constructor accessing the constructor will take what equal operator mm -hmm. normal function and the other task what they will do dot operator dot operator clear see the he also a function the he also a function what is the function name new what is the function name hello if the function name is new what do you call them equal a constructor mm -hmm. constructor if the function name is something other than new, you call them a normal Explosive function. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, no, no. See, don't use constructor. New oh. means only constructor. New is nothing but only for when you see. Is it a new I have written there yet? No. No, no. Mm -hmm. Then you never use a word called constructor. It's a normal function. Oh, but you tell the implicit means the uh, inbuilt, see, right? See, or see implicit, explicit, forget now. Okay, okay. okay. I said, no, you will be get confused for yourself and other people also will get confused. Implicit, okay. explicit, unless I will not explain, will not discuss on that topic. Okay. Okay. Clear? okay. Till here. Okay, sir. Hmm. Accessing the method, that is. Clear? Mm -hmm. Now, last topic, what they have in that web page, let us check. Plus, sir. Uh, uh, in, this, in this slide. No. Uh, that four points. Uh, that four yeah. points will happen uh in background when you are creating class abc correct it will happen in your back uh, that your back end it will happen correct whatever yes, okay. correct okay sir okay sir then uh, from the class only we are uh, accessing the uh, uh, constructor new correct from another class you will access it from another class okay in another class we will uh, correct calling from the another constructor. class you will okay, do this sir. activity the entire okay, thing sir. You will do from another client or another program or another module. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, I got it. So if you remember, this I have explained instance or de clack declaration, you know, object creation, you know, accessing a class property and method. How will you access by the class property or method via dot operator? Clear? Mm -hmm. So that completes your the entire page. Clear? And the, the one example they have given. Sir, in object creation, there is one more uh, line is there, sir. Uh, SV underscore class, uh, class one equal to. Correct. The line shall I explain? In object creation. This. This one only? SV ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. The line, what is our equivalent? Can you people tell? The same line, what we are called. 
वेरिएबल ऑल आर सेम ओनली देख लाइन इज इट क्लियर ना हेलो सेल्वराम और हो गए आज यस सर सेल्व कुमार यस सर बट एक्चुअली आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द लाइन कम्स अंडर ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएशन टाइटल्स व्हिच वन दिस वन जस्ट अबो 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 दिस टेबल सर दिस वन स्क्रॉल अप दी स्क्रॉल अप दी पेज सर ओके ओके आई आई नीड टू स्क्रॉल ओके This one? Yes, that one, sir. Yes, that one. Uh, in this case, object creation, uh, we are creating the uh, object uh, class underscore one equal to new function. Sir, uh, yeah. that one he, exactly. Ah, uh, he actually, if you remember what happened, we have written one class A B C, correct? End class. Okay. A B C of A one you have written, right? Do you? And a one equal to new you have written, correct? Right? Oh, so we have written in two lines, but okay. that can be uh, combined in single line, isn't correct. it? Correct. That is possible. Hundred percent, you can do all in single line. Okay, 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 sir. Clear? Okay, sir. Creating an handle, uh, instance and object creation, you can do in the instance. The the object creation, the the instance and object creation, all you can do in one single line. you read this topic name you just read it what is the i want you to people people to read the topic name that's it accessing class property and method they have said correct mm -hmm. huh? you are accessing what method or a property that is what function do you remember method. that is a function that they have written function get they have written So, is it accessing a method or accessing a property? Method. Method. <laughs> Correct. Now, in entire okay, let's go. Let me go down. Ho hope they might have written bottom one. Wherever you find a dot operator, go and check there only. We don't have any dot operator. Accessing the word what they have said. Accessing means this way. Wherever you find a dot line. Correct. That is nothing but accessing this and this. Here also this and this. Correct. Apart from this, any other place dot you are finding? Any other place? No, right? No. no. Oh, okay. Chalo. First one. Is it accessing a property or a method? Method. What about the second? Same. Huh? Method. Yes. Static what? Man, you just see, you no. Know, static what? Method. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Method. Static yeah. what? Get also method. Yeah. Both are. Or also what? Method. So yeah. What they are explaining to you? Accessing method only. They explained it to you. They not explained accessing the property. Is there anywhere property? Who is a prop? X. That is what the property we call correct. Yeah. Is there anywhere? No. See, the same thing. If you can, write. what is the handle name? Class one they have written right. Class of one dot x. Now what do you call that? Class of one dot. Property. X. Ah. Property. See what accessing property. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? 
Yeah. Huh? Whatever we have learned, what is that? Accessing the method we have learned. Okay. Similarly, method or a function, everything you will access via the what? Dot object. Clear? Yeah. So, sir, the last two lines, uh, when they are accessing the tax, actually, dot get three, four. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, yeah. So, they are not first accessing, they are directly accessing and showing, right? Display within the display, like that. I mean, the this. Which one? Kind of uh, uh, below is like three and four. You already write three correct, and four, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh -huh. Say the dot uh, class dot uh, class one dot gate, right? Uh -huh. They are just so directly they are accessing and showing display function is correct. there. So they're correct. showing like that. Correct. Okay. Why? Because then, now your concern is that how that he happened. See, you hmm. go and call him. What happened? What did they have written inside that? Oh, return. Okay. Return X mean in, instead of the entire thing, what will actually will come? X will print. That's it. X value will come. Okay. X value, where it will go? It will go here. That's it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Fine. Mm -hmm. Return X. What do you mean by return X? X will come in that place. In mm. uh, entire function will be erased out. X will come. Okay. okay. X will be get printed. That's it. Yes. So, so class dot set then on number one number two. So there x will not come right. I mean the x equal to no, i. There it x will not come here. You set you go here. Ten means ten will come here. Correct. Ten will be stored in where? Yeah. Okay. X. X. X will hold ten here value now. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you print x now, what will happen? Ten will come. In this case, mm. what happened? Twenty. If you print X now, what will come here? 20. 20. Clear? So okay. what is this? Property. Accessing a property, accessing a method. Clear? Yes. So with the dot operator, will do we access the property or method? Or both? Both. 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 Correct. That is what you need to understand, basically. Clear? We will access the property and we will access the method. Any doubt? No, okay. no, no. Tell him. Let's move on. Now, next topic. Before we go to the next topic, Hello, sir. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Sir, go ahead. as you uh, told on Sunday, that uh, we use scope resolution operator to access the static operation methods, right? Correct. So, dot and scope, do, both operators, we can use to access uh, properties and methods, but uh, no, your voice is not that properly. Hello. Uh, 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 so, sir, like you said, we can use both scope operator, scope resolution operator, and dot operator to access methods and properties. Correct. But scope resolution operator is specially for static. Correct. Only for static, you need to call. Now. One more thing now we need to no, we, will be, we will be starting that. Sir, in the last uh, concept, uh, you have just concluded that the accessing method and the property both are similar. Like that, you have concluded that. Correct. That's it. That, uh, the, okay, that's it. Okay, that completes the entire topic. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. They have written accessing property and method. But in throughout the example, what they have shown to you? Method only. Only method. Correct. Yes, 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 sir. But I said that even property also you will do the similar way. Okay, sir. Now, let's move on. Inside uh, class, have how many people? Inside class, how many people are there? If I take a class, how many people are there? Two people. What are the two people? A, within a client? Huh? A, B. A and B. No, no, no. Within a client, property how many people and are there? Property and 
method oh okay correct okay. correct that you only right property and method there are two people whose name is called property and whose name is called method method are, in the method how many types of method you have two types okay what are the two types function task task and function can i write like this in the function how many types of function you have two implicit express no implicit oh static and non static oh static no okay that is a way different way okay that you also have a different way okay i'll do one thing in that case constructor and constructor and okay i'll do one thing one more people uh, people are demanding let me you write entire thing class in the class how many people are how many people we have class here two people property and method okay now i i asked in the property how many types uh, how many you have in the property how many types of property you have property how many types of property you have i have explained yesterday one Ah uh, no, one static and non-static. Correct. Static, static, uh, static is non-static. Correct. Static property, non-static property. Correct. Now, next. method how many types of method you have two types task What and function oh ha uh, task and function function how many types of function you have two types constructor and non constructor correct one normal function and constructor 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 how many types of constructor we have implicit and explicit okay implicit and explicit constructor so first of all class you have two people property and method property again if you check static property non static property method if you check task and function Again, if you go and check for fun, uh, uh, function, normal function, constructor. Again, if you check constructor, explicit constructor, implicit constructor. Okay. Did you have seen Jolly LLB movie? Hmm. Akshay Kumar one. Okay. Do uh, did you have watched that courtroom scene? Okay. Ah. Uh, ब्राह्मण कौन कौन सा ब्राह्मण गौर ब्राह्मण कौन सा गौर चांदी गौर ओके ही विल कीप ऑन डिग राइट ओके 
he will tell the brahman which which brahman you are gor gor uh, brahman or gor he will tell him which gor okay chande gor something he will tell like that okay ha huh? he tell you one in the internal there are multiple in that again there are multiple in that again multiple one more thing we can write here in the again method also task and function we have it again in the method we have one more thing static method static function or a task and non static function or a task that is one more because the i'll write it as separate category here static function or a task whatever the static function or a task again we have one more thing what non static also correct again non static function also we have non uh, static task also we have it clear so okay we'll we'll come one by one if we come one by one that completes your major topic okay do you know property data type declaration is nothing but property this i have explained method function or a task we call as method so it means i have completed first topic very well let me know if you have any doubt till here static property non static property this part we will read later okay we will go here what is the difference between task and function when you need to use task when you need to use function execute at zero time huh? zero time function uh, more than after zero time of task see here one of the like i think aditya i think she said aditya arshan okay execute at zero time that is correct statement or incorrect statement incorrect executed with zero at, delay within zero time execute at zero time or execute in zero time in zero time in zero time what is the difference i need a difference in zero time means it will start at from zero delay then it will go then it will work this entire process you will take zero time zero time correct that is your meaning okay now let us try to understand all the people very well okay imagine this is timeline okay now here if it is a function what will happen if it is a task what will happen okay if it is a function no it will execute here that's it what is the red dot indicate it will it will start here and it will complete here that's it this is a function if it is a task no? this is a task what is the difference between this this and this it will take time it will not correct can, can i tell the first star the first one first one and second one first one will take zero time to run mm -hmm. second one will take more time to run yes sir first one uh, this this star what shall i call this function correct what shall i call this uh, the uh, sir is it clear basically what is a function or a task function will take how much time to run zero zero time now mm. see some people are asking this question okay they are listening their question nitya i will write one here what they wanted to convey me they they are telling okay, can i run the function any point of time yes any point yeah. of time you can run right yes yes okay you don't we don't have a rule that you need to run here only here only no okay this is also now third position and fourth position what is the third position 
function you can is it do you have a room the function you need to run for beginning only task you need to run then uh, later only so it's my choice whenever i need any function i'll run it okay throughout this example throughout the zero okay imagine zero time and this is a 100 nanosecond example okay in throughout zero to 100 nanosecond in fifth nanosecond i may call imagine the fifth nanosecond i called here almost i called 25th nanosecond i called this person and i called almost like a 70th nanosecond and the i called almost 80th nanosecond on the 90th nano correct so function do you have a rule that you need to execute this time that time do you have that rule no 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 okay now what is a constructor then i okay task and function okay chalo leave it okay what is a constructor then it will let zero time it will create it. this is constructor what is the meaning of this function new is called as constructor yeah. this is actually constructor what is a constructor this function part new. is called constructor mm -hmm. what do you mean by Frame statement. Uh, the function which execute at which time? Zero time. Zero the time. It's called like what? Uh, constructor. <laughs> yeah. Constructor. Constructor will execute at which point of time? Zero. Point zero. Of time. Zero. zero at time. zero. At zero. Yeah. Yeah. At zero. Okay. Mm. Oh, and what about nor this one, normal function? In zero. In zero. In zero. Right. Okay, what is this? Uh, at zero. Mm. And what is this? In, In zero. Mm. Statement here clear? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. At zero means constructor. Mm -hmm. And other function are? What is the difference between constructor? Next hour, the task and function is over. Now your function is normal function and Constructor. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? Tell me. A constructor, constructor. is executed at zero time, but normal okay. function can be executed at any time, but it at takes zero, zero the time. Mm -hmm. Execute. Correct. At any time. Correct. But except zero, right? Ha, except zero. Except zero. Zero. No. Except zero. That is a better always. Mm -hmm. Except zero. Or no. There is a. Uh, no. 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 Don't tell this because build is a one more function which is a build function in the UVM. Have you seen build B U I L D build? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. that actually run at zero the time. Okay, okay, uh -huh. see, just to tell this specifically constructor need to run at zero the time. Normal function can run at zero the time also, non zero the time also at any, mm -hmm. at any time. Okay, okay, next one more thing constructor for running how much time. Total, how much time it took to run? It can any time. Oh, zero, zero time, zero time. Okay, execute in? Zero time. Or write it. At zero in zero. At zero ah, in zero. Correct. Hmm. Execute in zero time. Zero time or zero the time? What do you read? Both. Zero. Oh, in zero time. Ah, execute uh, in zero time. And what about the normal function? It will yeah, okay. execute yeah. in zero time only, right? Yes. Mm. Function here, nothing but what? They need to execute in zero time only. Okay. Mm. Next. If they are constructor, their function name will be what? New. Function new. New. Need to be equal to what? You will do object creation memory. No, no, function name will be what? If the if, oh, if constructor. you want to call any person like a constructor, the name will be what? Function equal to mm. new. The name will be new. Mm -hmm. If if it is a normal function, their name will be in what? Any what kind like hello. What other than new, not uh, equal to new. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dot, yeah. So. Not dot, not equal to new. I said. 
correct okay okay they yeah. are equal to new means their function name will be what what is the f name function name will be what new new their function name will be what will be other than new other than okay yeah correct so it means that first of all did i explain what is a task what is a function what is this what is this task. task why it takes more than 10 zero okay, good okay or take more than zero 10 or you can write take more than zero time what about here take zero, zero time to execute yeah time to execute you can write it correct okay so what about normal function Not equal to new. Correct. Function name will be not equal to new. If it is a constructor, equal to new. Function name will be what? New. Okay. Let's go one by one. Property and method I have explained. Ah, uh, different pro in the method we have two types: task and a function. Task mm. means take more time. Mm. Function means take zero time. Correct. Again, in a function, did I explain what is a normal function and what is a constructor? Constructor will run at zero the time, and therefore name will be what new. And what about the function? Function can run at any time, and therefore the name will be what not equal to new. Any other name other than the new. Correct. So now our next main Left out people are what? Implicit, explicit. Mm -hmm. Implicit and explicit. Now, see, other than this, static you leave it. Static that we will see it later. Point of time. Okay. Any other doubt? If you have, let me know. No. Huh? Clear? Can we? Uh, can I wrap the entire and can I just explain only implicit? Ka? constructor and explicit uh, sir can you please uh, uh, repeat uh, constructor and normal function that uh, zero time on and in once more sir see now i'll do one What is this? Zero. Zero condition. Zero the time. Okay. And it is uh, more than zero. I mean, for running, it is taking more here, more than zero, or only zero. Uh, more than zero. It will start from zero. That's it. No man. Whatever the diagram, how they look like. Okay. First of all, will it start at zero time? Yes, sir. It will start okay. at zero. Okay. One minute. I'll make okay. It will start at zero the time. Okay, uh, it will start at zero time first, and will it complete in zero time? No, sir. It will take some time. No, man. Don't be that this one stringent here. What happened? Okay, because I can write one small this much only. The zero time only you need to understand. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, whatever the I have drawn, I cannot draw a dot here. Okay, actually the pen is that like that. I cannot draw this one. You need to think this one at a zero time, hmm. and it will complete in zero time only. Correct. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, got it. Total run time. Hmm. 
ఈ హీరో టైమ్ అట్ హీరో టైమ్ అండ్ ఇన్ హీరో టైమ్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఇన్ హీరో టైమ్ మీన్స్ దే ఆర్ ఫంక్షన్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద ఫంక్షన్ విచ్ ఈస్ దట్ పర్సన్ హూ విల్ రన్ అట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ హీరో టైమ్ కన్స్ట్రక్టర్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ది స్పెసిఫికలీ యూ కాల్ ఎస్ కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ జనరలీ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు కాల్ యూ కాల్ దెమ్ ఎస్ ఫంక్షన్ ఫంక్షన్ ఇన్ ద ఫంక్షన్ హూ ఈస్ దట్ ఫంక్షన్ మీన్స్ వాట్ యూ కాల్ కన్స్ట్రక్టర్ now here tell me at hero the time or at non hero the time non hero the time at any time or at non hero the time and completes in hero time or complete more than hero time in zero time in hero time a person complete in zero time what do you call function huh? function function in zero time that is the reason you have said function at non zero time other than zero time what is that function task there is no question of task no normal function in the function which function you are talking normal function or constructor <laughs> normal function correct normal function right why you said normal function because it will not start at zero time correct you are starting other than zero the time correct then that is a normal function only is it clear yes sir now what is this at 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 any point of time, task. Task. First of all, at non time. Mm-hmm. Example, non time only, right. Correct. In hero time or more than hero time? More. More than zero time. More than hero time. More than hero time in whom you will call? Task. task. In the task, okay. again, do you have a partition? Huh? No, sir. in function you had sub partition that is the reason some one time you said constructor one time you said normal function in the task do you have any, any other this one uh, partition uh? no sir no that is a task one that's it oh that complete this one more than zero time in task in the task again do you have sub category no in zero time in zero time means again in zero time when you tell there are two people will come either constructor or a normal function what the meaning of constructor the person who will run at zero the time if it is at zero the time remember the constructor if it is other than zero the time remember as normal function and if it is taking more time means there is there, is there any difference between task and system task uh, during execution See, they are compi- uh, they, uh, whatever the system task you are telling right they will run during the compilation time okay ha okay. uh-huh. what is that compilation time this class topic is there right in the end of this class topic that you will learn okay end of this class that will come as a system task okay ha huh? okay so sir then ha huh? mm-hmm. yeah yeah is clear mm-hmm. any doubt till here no sir no. okay see first of all property and method if it is clear task and function is clear normal function constructor if this much is clear i'll rub entirely yes. and i'll just focus on these two people implicit constructor mm. explicit constructor can we focus now yeah. can i rub entire yes okay. what about what about the uh, difference between uh, like the static property and static function non static no, property is, no, no, no static part we are leaving entirely as it is we are leaving okay mm. there is some static later stage means okay. after this constructor mean mm. first my intention i'll complete this mm. okay, okay then second and third clear because or else what happen we will miss the track see correct 
So one one entire stuff I will complete. Okay. So in the entire line, that first line, if you see, what is the pending now? Implicit and explicit. Other than that, everything I have completed. Yeah. Okay. One that completes, we will go to the second topic. What is the second topic we have? Static property and non-static property. Then we will go to the third. System static function and non-static function. Let's move on. implicit constructor now just one simple thing before i explain implicit constructor and explicit constructor where is the difference comes for implicit and explicit which place will come different new functions no i have i have marked in red so, sir your where the difference comes for implicit and explicit. Third part the Next, everything is same. Okay, we'll try to understand. Okay, class ABC int a function new blank memory extract variable. I can a default value. I can handle end function. You know very well. End class ABC a1 a1 equal to new. Clear? Okay. Now I will do one thing. I'll write one more code. That is an explicit constructor code. One more thing.
here I will write here. Okay, I'll do one. Let me complete. Okay, let's try to understand one by one. First, what will happen here? Create a blank memory. Blank memory will be created. Do you agree? This side also a blank memory will be created. Okay. Extract variable. Here also variable will be get extracted. There also very variable will be extracted. What are what is the variable here we have in implicit? Huh? A. Here A will come here also. Okay, A will come here also. Okay. Again, default value. What is the default value of int? Zero. Okay. When you are calling this new. Then you are assigned to whom? A. So as a result, while creating a memory, A will be assigned with what value? 0 or 10? When you are calling this new, what you are passing the value? Huh? Mm -hmm. Now A will get what value? 10. 10. Is it a you define default value or user defined value? What is the value you are A is getting? Default value is getting or user defined value it is getting? User defined value. Correct. User defined value. Correct. Fourth is a handle creation. Handle is ABC of A1. A1 here is the handle. Here also handling A1. So where is the difference you are getting? Okay. Now, people are asking me, they do one thing. First, uh, you do one thing, take that black color and write here. First, what is the step that happen here? Blank memory, correct? Blank memory will happen here also. Okay. Next, extract the variable. Extract the variable will happen here also. Third one. I can a default value. What shall I write here? Third one. What is the what is the thing I need to write? I can zero. No, no. Huh? User defined value. Ah, I can user defined value. What do you mean by user defined? What are the user want? I want 20. Is it a default value or user? User means I. I have defined the value. User has given the value. Oh, yeah. User defined value, correct? Next. Again. And then. Yeah. See, I Sir? know that you people have some kind of a question. What is this? What is the dot A equal to? Some people are telling me the, the yellow color. I am not able to understand what you have written. Leave that that is a different story for you. That I will explain tomorrow. What is this keyword indicate? Okay, that line I will not today. Tomorrow we will explain on that line. First of all, basic difference is it clear? Implicit to explicit. What is the difference? Only the default value will be the different so that we can identify using the default value. And what about your explicit? What is the difference between explicit? You can define. User defined executes at non zero time. No, no, no. No, no, no. New mini key. What is this function? Constructor. New. New will always execute at what time? Zero time. Zero time only. There is no question like a user will define will execute in non zero time. No. It's a new man. Okay. 
we have written the function new when i when you write anything i can new what is that it will execute to zero time only right yes sir correct so what is the basic difference between implicit and explicit sir can we cannot one... give any value mm -hmm. huh? yeah we we don't give any value in uh, like implicit but uh, explicit we are assigned some value right correct so, like, and i tell like this uh, implicit so in executed constructor we are writing a, a separate uh, function uh, with the uh, name new correct that you are, that you have what differentiation make it whatever you have heard is correct so if, uh, the what he is telling he is telling me this one can it say please one put one arrow and instead of hidden you have written you write user defined function user has defined it it is not a built in is it a built in no, no sir no no or user will write this function right right user user will write okay see first can i make a one small difference okay uh, yeah, i'll do one thing Okay. So can I write one difference here first? Sir? Okay. What is the difference? What is implicit? Uh, uh, can I write like this? Im where implicit constructor uh, will take a default value. Okay. Hmm. Implicit constructor will take a default value explicit constructor will take user defined value that's it correct okay here first different second that new whatever is there new you have written a or no. is hidden is hidden in built the function ne, uh, function definition which function definition new correct mm -hmm. is what built in or hidden correct mm, built in built in mean automatically will come what are the function definition is there that is a function definition f definition function definition Which function definition? New. Is it a built-in or user has what? User. User defined. User defined. User, user, user defined. Clear? Clear? Now, first of all, function you will not write here. Okay, here you need to write. And one more, did you notice here? What the? user defined value right this one assign the value correct while calling while new calling you will not pass any value but what about there that said uh passing some value defined you can value. pass the value if you want correct mm -hmm. here pass by value here uh, with no pass away value uh -huh. we will not pass it normally okay norm we will not pass any value in function calling correct while calling the function did you do you pass the value do you pass the value here yeah no you will never pass the value right oh, no 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 yeah in implicit we know uh, yeah and explicit we, we will pass the value yeah take one minute here let me complete here and here no. one one more thing so you cannot see where you are writing yeah Okay, here. Now, can I write a equal to ten like this simple? Okay, just one mm. minute. You observe. Can can is this statement is correct? I think no. No. What's wrong in that? Function new I will call and a equal to ten. Am I joining in that? Mm. Correct only, na? No? 
nothing wrong in that case do you need to pass oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. just call from new when you call the new a will get automatically what value 10 10 it means you can pass the value also you cannot pass the value also oh. pass va with value without value uh, correct without passing a value also we can assign a default value you have defined value correct mm. now okay. am i passing the value no 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 without that did i define the value as 10 yes yes sir. while passing the value also we can do that okay okay so do one thing you make a two uh two statement for your understanding okay first you write like this okay then you write it okay and put one more here a1 equal to new and you put open bracket close bracket and here in this place okay side that side okay i'll write it here okay i can rub now right hmm Okay, I'll write a function like this for you people. Function new. I'll not pass any value here. A equal to 10. End function. Can you feel that? What is yeah. the difference? What is the third point shall I write here? We will, we can, or we, if we want, we can pass the value or we, we don't have to, pass, uh, okay. We can pass or we, we don't have, to, we will not pass the value. Sir, shall we say like this, um, either we will uh, pass the value while function calling or we will define the value uh, we will uh, fix the value while defining the function correct that is also correct okay i'll write it you will uh, you will fix the hard coded value what do you call hard coded we actually will call like what hard code okay tell me that statement only yeah tell me you tell I'll either write. either we will pass the value either we we, we will Pass the value uh, in function calling. In function calling. Or, or we will we will define a hard coded value. This is called the line we call like what? Hard coded. Hard, what is the C? Coded. here instead of 10? If you write 10 will go automatically. But here you, you need to change the function. This kind we call a hard coded. What do you call? What does it mean? Is hard coded. Hard coded. Fixed. Hard coded. Yeah. Hard it's kind coded. of fixed. Yeah. It means not easy to change. Yeah, yeah. It means that see here just uh, the first one in this one. If you uh, okay, do one a one equal to new ten. A one equal to new of twenty. Imagine I will call the function three times. Okay. Do I need to change the function now? Do I need to modify the function any point of time? No. No. In the same case, I need 10 function. You need to modify. Correct? Mm. Next yeah. time, I want 20. Again, you need to modify the function. Again, you need to change. Again, you need to modify the function. Did I modify the function in this case? No. No. If you not if you if you need if you need to modify again and again and again, what do you call hard coded? Means you have not written in a flexible manner, correct? Hmm. Yeah. Is it a flexible? This is a flexible. What do you call this? Is a flexible? Huh? You need to change the function every time, correct? Huh? So function is not flexible, correct? Here, here did I change it to the function any point of time? No. So function are flexible. Function are hard coded. Clear? Hard code only rigid you have to that. Either we'll pass the value the function or we hard code. Hard code the function. Okay.
in in when you come, come to the corporate sector no we, you will write one code okay please uh, can you please properly tell me what is a hard coded listen if you want to listen properly what is a hard coded mean <coughs> imagine this is your laptop okay you will write one code one one python code you have written okay now that code if your friend will take and run the same code he will tell hey give me that i want to run okay it will not run in his system it will run only in your system then what is is it a code whatever you written is a flexible or hard coded hard coded hard coded mean what it will work only for you only for that place okay if you write one code which will run in your system your friend system your office system your institute system what do you call them flexible correct which kind of code we need to write hard coded or flexible code flexible code this kind of code you need to write in company okay if suppose if if you write any play okay like this okay it will run only in your play only in that particular folder it will run only particular person only can run this kind of code company will never entertain you need to run a generic code generic code means what it can be used by anyone clear yeah? okay or uh, or uh, if you if you only can use that we call like what hard coded clear yeah? uh, okay then if you have doubt let me sir, know or else we will wind up for the day ha huh? okay yes sir i have different one question actually yesterday's question so uh, the program block uh, you are telling it is working on inactive region right mm -hmm. and the module it is the active region so no, this no, is no. the Pro program block reactive region Yeah, hey, sorry. Yeah, reactive region and the module is active region. Yeah. Correct. So this is the only difference, but there is some other difference also, right? I saw that race around condition. Race around not... condition. Correct. Yeah. What so race around... uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the rate? Why it is? It will happen in module case. I mean, race around condition, and why not in reactive uh, case? Can you tell me little bit? Okay. Then I'll give you one hint over it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the test bench and design? They don't. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll okay. give you one small example. Okay. Actually, this is the event or scheduling semantics we will tell. Okay. 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 Imagine. Okay. Hmm. Running race. We we will. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The your start point. We need to reach here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who will win the race? Don't tell Nite. Uh, you are a fat person. So I will man come and uh, run with me. I'll show you. Okay. In mm -hmm. running, even I may be fat. Don't underestimate me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can run equally along with you. Okay. Now tell me who will win? Nitesh will win or Amit will win? No one knows. Like yeah. No one knows. Correct. One. Mm -hmm. Can I tell race around? Yes. You are not sure. Huh? Race around condition. Yeah. Yeah. Take one. Mm -hmm. Who will win the race now? Yeah, Nitesh. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because he is near the destination, like that. Obviously. Or correct. different. Uh, okay. That is the only answer. Correct. He is near the destination, so that is the reason he will win. Correct. Okay. Okay. Now, now restaurant condition. Yeah, now both are same place. Correct. Can I tell like this? Leave it. Now, mm. we'll remove the. Okay. In the design perspective, tell me. 
Yeah, exactly. Okay. If Digan and Texpen run together, okay, that is okay. a model. Imagine this is a model. Okay. Both are model. Which one will run first? Digan will run or model will run? Design. Uh, the Texpen will run. Design. Need to run design first. No, both are same. No. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Model. Yeah, yeah. The Digan is what model? Yeah, 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 model. Yes. TB or what model? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, both are model mean both are at the same place. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. One, okay, I'll do one. Got it. Okay, I'll make more clarity to you. See, when I tell model, imagine mm -hmm. this is the model place. Yes. Model means this, this place we call a model. Program mm -hmm. actually will come here. Okay, okay. Which, uh, if you remember, I have given a one grace margin to me while running, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you feel that program? Program, I have given a grace margin. Yeah. So ah. okay. So this is called active region. Mm -hmm. This is called reactive region. First of all. Yeah. So both if it is both are happening in um, uh, active region, but both it is happening in reactive region, it will also be same, right? No, no. See here, mm -hmm. design also you run this place. Mm -hmm. Text mm -hmm. also you run with module only. Designing yeah. also module. Text is also module. What yes. happened? Race around will happen. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah, yes, agree. Leave it. Agree. Now you mm. come. Mm. Design, I'll give you one more scenario. Design, you run with model. Text okay. uh, you run with program block. When oh. the ratio around condition will occur? No, no, no. Very good. Okay. So if we do the test bench and module also in program block, then it will definitely. No, de de see, design, we will run in module only. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. Text when we see what happens if both will run. Design and text when run together, what will happen? Race around will occur. Race around, you yes. Will yes. Run together from the same destination. Race yeah, around yeah. will happen. You give right. me a one grace margin. Mm. Okay. Okay. Do you mm. think race around can, condition will happen? No. No. Definitely no. Central, Nijay only will win. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Your right. text when we will bring, will run from this point. Okay. So only we can write the test bench in program through program block, right? Ah, Not correct. design. Only program block. Oh, we cannot use the program in design, I think. No, ah? we can use. No, no, we no. Cannot use pro design program are design. always module. Correct. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Yes. Got it, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we'll stop it for the day. Tomorrow okay. we'll continue. Okay. Sir.